everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome to the very first tutorial of ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. Here uh, we will be having around 7 chapters to go ahead and understand and of course uh, somewhere similar like around 40 to 41 tutorials to complete this entire series. The very first chapter is about testing process and uh, I hope from the names you can figure out what are the uh, other chapters all about and I'll be definitely elaborating them in more details as we come to the specific chapters. So without taking much of your time, let's get into the chapter one and understand that what other subtopics we are going to understand. So here if you see, uh, we have the introduction, testing and software development lifecycle and the entire test process broken into different topics. So generally when you're talking about the test analyst, here we'll be getting into the detail of each and every activity to understand more in depth that how a test analyst basically behaves or involves within the process. And it's not a mistake, 1.1, 1.2, both are highlighted. Uh, let me just bring to your kind notice that for advanced level, the 1.1, all the chapters introduction has been eliminated. So you don't have that in the syllabus. But as a part of the content, we are having a brief introduction about each chapter. So we will be just covering that together in one tutorial. So let's quickly move into the content and the very first tutorial of this series. Hope you like it. and. We look forward to get engaged to understand all of the tutorials as well. So when you talk about the introduction, this is just uh, for each chapter, all the seven chapter, you will have an introduction topic beginning, which will just tell you to recall the content from the foundation, that it is an extension to the foundation. Thus, you can easily follow and understand that what you have done earlier and what is that we are trying to do in more detail in advanced level. So if you see, there is a comparison done here, which says that in foundation level, we understood the fundamental test process as planning, monitoring, control as one stage, analysis and design, implementation and execution, evaluating exit criteria and reporting, test closure activities. Uh, though the syllabus has been modified now, so this is from the point of older syllabus, now we have further clarified the situation as what you see in test analysts now. So in advanced level, we are going to actually break each and everything and understand separately each of these phase. So that's from the introduction, looking at 1.2, testing in the software development life cycle. Here we are trying to understand that what exactly uh, the entire process is all about, how testing is generally conducted as a part of development life cycle. And nothing new again, we know this from the foundation generally, uh, the basic understanding is about we try to understand what the requirements are then we create a design we make sure that everything is well equipped the test case preparation the templates the test suites to be prepared the prioritization the risk analysis everything will be covered as a part of it now when you talk about advanced level this entire syllabus will tell you the major responsibilities of a test analyst what role and responsibility does a test analyst play when it comes to a development model or testing life cycle? So here if you see, a test analyst must be involved right from the beginning stating that uh, as soon as the project gets started, right from the planning phase, the test analyst keeps on assisting the test manager of the organization to create a good plan of the entire process. At the same time, test analyst is a role which is provided to a person who is lead of functional testing team. When I say functional testing team, it generally means that it is only limited to unit integration system and acceptance. Whereas all other levels are called as non-functional and we have a different lead for that called as technical test analyst. So here if you see uh, how test analyst has to coordinate with different stakeholders within the organization. So if you see, we have highlighted few of the uh, stakeholders which are majorly, majorly contributing to the entire process, like requirement engineering and management for requirement reviews, project management for schedule input, configuration and change management for build verification testing and version control, software development for anticipating what is coming and when, software maintenance like defect management, turnaround time and many other factors related to that, technical support, accurate documentation for workarounds, 
production of technical documentation as well that is in terms of inputs to these documents will be provided in terms of technical review of the documents as well so test analyst not only is limited to one of the activity every single activity the test analyst will have an intervention consistent support to the team and also contributing to make the test manager's job easier and simpler so that test manager is not alone all the time to decide something uh, about the entire process if you look further we are recalling the v model which you already know from the past in the foundation level that v model basically comprises of few steps on the left that is verification and few steps on the light right that is validation but we are just comprising the same thing in terms of one particular level that is system testing so we just take example as system testing and try to understand that how v model uh, follows the good principles of testing or good characteristics of testing that is like you know for each and every development activity there must be a testing activity if you can quickly recall those things so let's look at this we have a system test planning should occur concurrently with the project planning that means right in the beginning it goes parallel altogether then system test analysis and design occurs concurrently with the requirement specification and gathering system test environment implementation may start during the system test designs or system design through the uh, you know uh, coding and component test system test execution begins when we come to the other side of it that is validation and exactly uh, like a dynamic execution of system test system test execution continues until the system test exit criteria are met because each level must have an objective which should be achievable and must have a desired exit criteria to be achieved at any point of time and definitely system test closure occurs after the system exit criteria is met and that fulfills that this particular level is complete and we can move to the next particular level following that we are talking about uh, that was only limited from the traditional point of approach now we are looking from the iterative and incre incremental model such like in uh, agile so if you talk about a test analyst it is independent of any organization or test structure within an organization it might be following a waterfall model it might be following a v model or maybe agile methodology which is trending nowadays so a test analyst is or uh, must be aware of uh, the specific responsibilities when it generally comes to uh, the traditional as well as the agile methodology but if you are a real practitioner of agile methodology you may have a question in your mind we do not really have a role of test analyst in the agile uh, environment we only have a scrum master we have a business analyst and we have a development team but in the development team there might be a senior resource who may act like a test analyst who will be consistently guiding the team internally within the group but of course uh, we also understood from the agile methodology the certification earlier that there's no such control in a development team everyone is equal everyone is contributing everyone is self motivated there is no boss there is no directions and everyone knows what to do and internally discuss with each other and have a good communication to understand but still we're talking about if what if an organization who has a role called a test analyst or maybe a senior resource who can be a good contributor to that so in such models generally uh, the uh, analyst role gets started right from the beginning where the epics are being transformed into user stories so it's just that like you don't wait for the iterations to kick start and uh, uh, the events to happen rather you get involved right before the planning as well that is where the user stories are being created and we call it as a collaborative user story build up so test analyst must contribute there and understand what is the user story all about what are the acceptance criteria whether the acceptance criteria are achievable or not or many such things and following that all consecutive activities will be taken again further by the test analyst and at the same time we just fulfill the needs of the agile methodology in terms of like understanding each and every stage like particular iteration planning or maybe an entire release planning the test analyst will be equally responsible to contribute to the scrum master or maybe the business analyst 
and uh, in terms of uh, coordinating with the team and making the team understand about the requirement and how we are going to, you know, dealing with the story pointers or estimation, test analyst will have a key role to uh, assist the test manager to have the overall criteria being met and to prepare a very good and effective plan for the entire process. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Uh, the analyst tutorials will be slightly lengthier than the foundation and agile just because we have a lot of understanding in terms of scenario because uh, we will be expecting a lot of uh, scenario based questions in this particular examination so i will be having more of explanation rather than having the pointers on the presentation so please listen to this videos and tutorials carefully so that you can actually understand what a test analyst is all about and what the major roles and responsibility is. If you can understand the context behind each and every topic, that would be the most easiest thing to crack the examination. So feel free to comment if you have any further queries about this topic. We'll be coming back soon with the next tutorial as early as possible, and we'll be continuing uh, you know, without any breaks to finish this particular series so that the people who are aspiring to write the examination can look forward to appear in the examination. So the, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. Uh, till then, of course, keep understanding, keep exploring, and keep learning. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.